Hey guys, Bailey Genius 101 here with an epic unboxing for you guys today. This finally came in the mail. It was estimated to supposedly be arriving between February 4th and 22nd of here of February. But instead, here it is February 4th. It is approximately at least one day early. Came from Young Yu Kim or something along the lines of that. Mm. In from South Korea. South Korea is so nice to us still, luckily. You can tell for sure that is the Beyblade because it says right here, Beyblade. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's open up this package. Once they put way too much tape on this. I'm just going to rip the box up if I have to. Yeah, forget this. Oh, sweet, the box looks awesome. So here we are. Check that out. Perfect condition box. Phantom Orion Bearing Drive. By the way, good news. My camera, my Samsung ST76 was repaired free of charge. Yay. So, here you can tell it is real. Takaro Tomi, Sonokong, Zero 40 System, Stamina, Right Rotation, Light Launcher 2, 40 system, different material, divided wheel, dynamic tribe, and deep custom. There's Chris. <laughs> my own name is Chris, and my favorite bay overall is Phantom O'Brien. Funny. There's the Light Launcher 2, Light Launcher 2, Ripcord. There's the Phantom O'Brien face bolt design, energy ring, fusion wheel, and some stamina mode there. You can see the little face right there. There's a the little Orion symbol right there. Here we have some customizations here. Let's see here. I can't quite tell what energy ring that is. It looks very similar to Zarafa. Hold on. Um, I do not know for sure at all, but that is scythe and bearing drive. Right here we have stamina mode being advertised. Right here we have attack mode being advertised. Here we have the statistics of it. We have the face, the clear wheel or energy ring. And it has one star in attack and six star in stamina. And then the fusion wheel itself has two star attack and five star stamina. And then the tip bearing drive has, let's see here, six stars in stamina, one star in defense. When really it does have better stamina and defense than that altogether. Especially because of the fusion wheel plus the 40 box. So yeah. Hmm stop with all those details. Hold on, I'll use my pen here to kind of cut open the tape here. Ah, darn it. Crap basket. Oh, well. much pay just like on in the actual shipping box. Ah, crap, that's all over it. Oh, there's the bearing system for the 40 tip bearing drive. Oh, by the way, here's some stuff right there. Takara Tomi, Sonokong, some other stuff in Japanese. Don't understand it. This here talks about the 40 system. It's like, what is the 40 system? Here's a normal stuff there. Face, clear wheel, metal wheel, track, bottom. We have the base 40 clear wheel, which has the iron fillings in it. PC frame on some like beat links like Kronos and Cosmic, also known as Big Bang Pegasus. Then there's the metal frame, the core, and then the 40 bottom. The only way to contain all of these is Cosmic Pegasus, in final drive, or Big Bang Pegasus. Software. So here we have the bearing drive tip itself. We have some instructions in Japanese that I can sell kind of even fun. We have a black tool. Here we have the black ripcord for the light launcher too. It's my fourth one of that type of ripcord. Because of other stuff that I've gotten like that. Like a light launcher too and then zero G launchers and such. So yeah. And then here we have Phantom Orion. And then the light launcher too. So start off with the Light Launcher 2. It's 
very nice. It's the second one I've ever owned. But yes, it's very nice, very powerful. I'm very excited to have one once again. What the heck is what this ripcord being bent that way? And it's just wrong. <clears throat> or, I'm gonna bend this so I can get it in just right. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and give a quick demonstration of this. Let's see, here's a bay Cosmic Pegasus Hyperblade Style W105R2X. <laughs> A very clean rail. That's my opinion. He has some very powerful Mai Tai ads. So now then, onto the actual bays and such in just a second. There's that. There's the stickers. This is my second set of stickers. I still have the, mm, both of the Facebook stickers from my last Phantom Orion bearing drive, which kind of was getting broken with the PC frame, the energy ring, and the tip. And the Facebook was long broken. Hold on just one second. I still have the broken part. I just ended up using the um, Night Virgo Facebook in substitution. But yeah, here's the instructions talking about how you do play me on a ground surface such as this and not on a table or such. So we have the parts being advertised, how you do not let it rip. Believe me, you do not want to do that. That not doing that though is why I ended up losing a tournament and honestly had I accidentally done that I probably would have been told to be more careful, but I would have still won and I would not have gotten any trouble. But yeah. I decide to never take any chances and to be kind of considerate to those around me. And yeah, it's like about how it's right spin, how you put the bait together, talking about where you put the stickers, talking about stamina mode, attack mode, how you mm, can put the energy ring on and such, onto the back, advertising the parts. I don't really get why they have this Big Bang Pegasus mm, picture right there. I really have a picture of how you put the bay on to the launcher after you put the ripcord in and how you let it rip within to the stadium. Here we're, it's talking about how you change it from stamina to attack mode and such. Once again we have this suggested combo. I don't know the energy ring. If, may, if you guys know then feel free to tell me. I would greatly appreciate it. And then sight something in stamina mode I do believe and then bearing drive it would of course be a good bay also. Uh, hold on just one second. Never mind. So here is bearing drive. It's very nice. Oh, look at that. It's pearl in design there. It makes it look correct down the center. Right there in the center. It looks cool still. And then, whoa, that is way heavier than Phantom RM 145V. Yes, it's been so long since I've held one like it. Here we have the face bolt. You know, there's a bit of plastic hanging from the bottom of it still. But yeah, in comparison of this one to my old one, yeah, there's a for some reason a fingerprint mark stuck on there. And then yeah, broken. This one here seems to look like it's a bit of a darker yellow that I like more, but all in all it's the same. Here we have the O'Brien Energy Re. Has the little mm, iron fillings inside of it. Now, and on to the real fun part, the phantom wheel. Here, it was automatically placed in stamina mode. There's the PC core, as some call it, because it's also made of polycarbonate. But, yeah, I'm sorry this, about this unboxing taking so long. I'll try and hurry up. But, yeah, by the way, this here's the PC core. Here, I'll put it in attack mode. It's in attack mode now because when it's attacking shorter base, what appear as teeth right here, when you put it together will be now attacking the opponent's base. Fun fact though, if you are battling a taller base such as Flash Sagittario, Duo Uranus, and or Flame Vixis, then, well, basically, stamina and attack modes will be in reverse. 
Therefore, <laughs> just well, a forewarning if you ever wanted to test the bows out. So yeah, just a full-on view. Yeah, this here is very loose. Oh, that's because the face is the back wrap basket. Hold on. Just gonna use this tool right here to fix the face pulled up a bit. But, yep, here we go. Nice and tight. Test launch. Whoa, what the heck? I had that battle for a launch? Nice. So, yeah. This has been... Oh, hold on. I'll do a quick comparison. Hasbro Phantom Orion 145ES versus... Mm, well, compared to... Is what I mean by versus Phantom Orion Bearing Drive. The energy rings look very similar. This one here is slightly more reddish and gets damaged way more easily because, well, it's Hasbro. What do you expect? Hmm. Well, the fusion wheel looks exactly the same, except for right in these gaps right here, you can see the silver on the fusion wheel. And on this here, you can still kind of see through it. And this one here has a printed face bolt. This one here is 0.1 grams heavier. I don't know why. And then if you look at the bottom, hollow versus this area right here that's smoother and would make it way more because it's completely filled in, whereas this here is not. This right here may be plastic, but that really helps it when it comes to stamina. And then bearing drive versus 145ES. 145ES big, loses big time. They're both free spinning mm, just as much mm, as the other. And then the height is about the same, but then it comes down to balance. So, yeah, I'll do a quick little test battle using my string launcher. like, hey, remember when Orion hit Orion, and then Orion hit Orion? Yeah, so I remember that joke that I saw multiple times on Beyblade Geek, Phantom Orion Bearing Drive versus Phantom Orion Bearing Drive, Hasbro versus Takarotomi, 40 versus Hyperblade. But yeah, that was in a Hasbro steam, I believe the Lion's Lair, something along the lines of that. But yeah, Takara told me mm, appears to be almost unscathed. So yep, this has been an unboxing, review, and test of Phantom Orion Bearing Drive by Takara Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and goodbye. Peace out.